Hello and welcome to your Organic Chemistry Lab 2 section. Today we're going to be working with the purification of benzaldehyde. This is available in the reading, as a reading material in the textbook section 6.4b, pages 75 to 76. In this slide, we show the properties of benzaldehyde. So the other name it has is benzene carboxyaldehyde. Here we show the molecular formula and the molecular weight, which is 106.12 grams over mole. The appearance is as a colorless liquid at 23 degrees and one atmosphere of pressure. It has a strong almond-like odor, a density of 1.044 grams over ml, a boiling point of 178 degrees, and it's not miscible in water. So we will purify the benzaldehyde because we have evidence of it forming uh, its counterpart, the benzoic acid, over time in a process that's called auto-oxidation of benzaldehyde. So most aldehydes are easy to oxidize by atmospheric oxygen to its carboxylic acid forms. Here we show two molecules of benzaldehyde reacting with one molecule of diatomic oxygen to form two molecules of benzoic acid. This benzoic acid is a common impurity in the bottle of benzaldehyde, and we wish to remove it in order to continue with our synthetic approach. The mechanism of auto-oxidation of benzaldehyde, for, it's a formation of peroxybenzoic acid. So in here we show a homolytic fission of the carbon-hydrogen bond in order to form two different uh, radical species. The benzaldehyde radical and one hydrogen radical. The oxygen also undergoes this homolytic, homolytic bond breaking, forming two, forming this radical species that it's readily reactive with our radical of benzaldehyde forming the peroxybenzoic acid. The mechanism of auto-oxidation of benzaldehyde is actually called the bayer billiger oxidation. In this first step, the peroxybenzoic acid is not stable enough, so it will form a cation and an anion this cation is relatively reactive to, to the oxygen of benzaldehyde, forming this species that it's protonated and then forming another species that it's negatively charged. So the negative charge is a good nucleophile that will attack the carbonyl and it's going to form this structure where two skeletons of benzaldehyde have merged together. One of the protons leaves the structure and it breaks the bond from the two benzaldehydes, on one side forming benzoic acid and on the other side forming the benzoate anion, which reacts readily with this proton that left before, and we form two benzoic acid molecules from one reaction. So the idea here is to wash the impure benzaldehyde solution with aqueous sodium carbonate solutions. Sodium carbonate is a base, so it will react with benzoic acid to form a salt and water. So the benzoic acid will first uh, dissolve in the water and it's going to react with the sodium uh, cations of the carbonate to form the sodium benzoate, while the proton that left is going to react with the other part of this sodium carbonate. The sodium benzoate is a salt and a very polar molecule. Thus, it is very soluble in water. Benzaldehyde is a relatively non-polar molecule. Thus, it is not soluble in water. A simple extraction with water will separate benzaldehyde from sodium benzoate. Our procedure is gonna be the next. We're going to prepare a 10% weight solution sodium carbonate. So everyone is going to need around 10 to 15 mLs. We're going to take 5 mLs of impure benzaldehyde inside the separatory funnel. We're going to wash it with 5 mLs of 10% sodium carbonate solution. So the idea is not to shake so vigorously, otherwise it will make an emulsion. Separate the aqueous layer, which is going to be the bottom layer. Repeat steps 3 to 4 one more time. Then wash with 5 mLs of water. We're going to separate the aqueous layer, which is now the bottom layer, collect the benzaldehyde in a flask, dry over anhydrous magnesium sulfate, and collect the dry benzaldehyde by gravity filtration. 
To recall, this is a procedure to make a flooded filter paper. We're going to be doing this folding. We're going to make this star-shaped filter paper that it's going to be placed inside one of our funnels and the liquid is going to be let to pass while our magnesium sulfate is going to stay trapped in the paper. The storage of pure benzaldehyde. So we're going to add a few crystals of hydroquinone to the pure benzaldehyde that we extracted and cover this with pear film. So why do we add hydroquinone? Hydroquinone reacts really with the oxygen than benzaldehyde. This molecule will undergo the same, a very similar mechanism of reaction with oxygen. So if the oxygen gets in the flask, it will prefer to react with the hydroquinone rather than the benzaldehyde. So this is what happens with, with when the hydroquinone reacts with oxygen. We're going to have two molecules, and upon its contact with the oxygen, we're going to form two molecules of 1,4-benzoquinone and two molecules of water. Remember for the waste and chemical disposal, the solid waste, which is the magnesium sulfate, should go in our special solid waste container. The aqueous portion from the separatory funnel should go into the aqueous phase. And remember to clean your hood. 